Hello everyone, I'm back with a quick video uh, regarding the Marielle. Um, this is not going to be your typical uh, review slash um, reveal uh, going in depth about my experience with Marielle, but I was inspired by uh, Katie Flowers and her um, desire to work with Marielle and the fact that she was postponing it um, because she felt intimidated, intimidated by the symbolism, by the book, um, and I'm sure by many people on YouTube that have talked about their experience with Marielle. And while we do need to give the Caesar what it, what belongs to the Caesar, um, I've had a different experience with with this tarot deck. I've had it for a few years now. And because my philosophy has been for a while, um, simplicity, that's where I started with the Marielle as well. Of course, I did read the book more than once. But my approach with any tarot deck is just having a chat with it, looking at the pictures. Um, if you want to do that first before reading the guidebook, that's even better. But that's obviously a personal choice. Some people really um, relish into uh, reading about the, um, the artist's choices and the mythology behind, um, behind this specific deck. But at the same time, it can be very, very intimidating. And it's up to you where your journey is taking you where you want to go with a Marielle, for example, as with any other deck. Um, if your path is focused more or on inner work, on inner journeying, then your approach might be different. But if you want to use the Marielle for specific questions, external events, you can certainly do that. And you can use it for simple things as um, asking if you're going to find your cat, which I did a few months ago. And this is the card that I got. Did my cat come back? Yes, he did, half an hour later. Uh, while this may be seen as trivial, and I'm sure I'm going to be <laughs> stigmatized by some people on YouTube, you can do that with a Mariel. In fact, this morning, after a long hiat hiatus from this deck, I just put it out, I took it out of the box, and I just had coffee with it. And I asked questions from, um, you know, what what is the energy that you're putting out today? Um, how do you see me today? To, um, you know, how would a combination for pregnancy would look like? Um, just anything, anything that you can think of, and it speaks so clearly. So please, don't don't be uh, intimidated by any deck, really, just because there is a certain general opinion about it, just because the art maybe is different than what you're used to, the symbolism, um, just because you have a certain reaction to it. Just approach it with an open heart, with simplicity. And I can assure you, it's not an uncrackable deck. So choose the, um, the way that works best for you. But just remember that it's what you make of it. It's what you choose to make of your experience. So if you want your experience with a Marielle to be a joyful, open one, then do so. And who knows where it might take you. Again, for me, I like to keep things simple. I like to really be open to communicate with my decks. And I need to be able to, to read for myself and others. So it has to be a working deck. And believe it or not, yes, Marielle is a working deck. And it works beautifully. So, um, Katie, give it a shot and let me know. Take care.